Hey, beloveds of Yah, happy, happy, happy birthday blessings to the lovebirds, Jar of Clay 9 and Yah Servant 777, also known as Sylvester and Yah Servant 007. <laughs> I just praise Abba for the day you were born. You guys are, you beloveds are so special in my heart as you know this. And um, can't wait to see you again. Yeah, so good, his beloveds. Happy blessed birthday to the beloveds also. Seek Yahushua for the truth 100. Bride of Yahushua 123. Chosen 23 for Yah's honor and glory. We just love and appreciate y'all so, so much. thank Abba for you. The angels dance truly the day that you were born. <laughs> and um, all of heaven rejoices this birthday month. And, and those other birthdays that are that are this month I don't even know about. Um, thank you. Thank you for your prayers and your love and all that you do to keep pointing to way to Yahushua. Because truly, he's coming back again for his. And it's just totally blessed. And I can't wait. So uh, Abba, continue to help us and touch us. To keep spreading your word, your holy prophecies around the world for your honor and your glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, I just love, um, I love honeybees. I used to have many hives and that was quite a hobby. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work too. But I just thank Abba for the experience and I love walking outside and um, and smelling the blooms and watching the bees work just totally awesome for your honor and glory and keep praying for the bees that they don't get wiped out from the pesticides and stuff in the air but i'll just share a little bit about um, some bees which i just appreciate so much um thank you father honey bees sort themselves out into different job categories apparently progressing through the various stages as they age as far as we can tell there's no arguing who does what in the hive and they are loyal to their queen and selfless in their dedication to their fellow bees <laughs> hallelujah newly hatched bees work inside the dark hive at various various tasks then in the last stage of the bees life it goes forth into the sunlight isn't that awesome to gather pollen and nectar they forage the forager bees travel great distances and have an uncanny sense of direction they carry enormous loads and also show incredible endurance. Um, it's just so awesome. They just seem to have a joyful personality. And if they could, they'd probably whistle while they worked. And they just buzz. They just fly out. And uh, <laughs> and if they could sing, they probably would sing, whistle while we work. It just, you just, you know, you just want to pet them. They're just so fuzzy and so blessed. And I thank you, Father, for them. They're, they're like miracles, too. For their weight and size, the honeybee is said to fly faster and farther than any other winged creature. She is the opposite of her cousin, the cumbersome bumblebee, who, according to aeronautical flight criteria, <laughs> has been proved incapable of flight. So there you have it. But with the bees, their whole life is consumed with storing up food for the coming winter and for perpetuating the hive. It's just so, so cute. So, you know, if they had a favorite scripture, it might be Proverbs 15, 15. <laughs> the cheerful heart has a continual feast. So praise Yah. This is so blessed. The never-ending toil the bee faces each day. They really are amazing, inspiring creatures. Um, there's like two stages, it seems, in a honeybee's life. Either it works tire tirelessly and in total darkness of the hive, tending their young, building perfectly hexagonal cells with a slight downward tilt so the honey doesn't run out, 
grooming the queen and serving on guard duty, or providing climate control by fanning its wings and huddling with the other bees in a trembling clump for warmth, where it flies back and forth over great distances in the heat of the day, constantly carrying heavy loads of pollen and nectar between the blossoms and the hive. Wow, isn't that awesome? Uh, when a honeybee discovers a new source of food, it zips back to the hive, all a twitter, and then buzzing with excitement. It does that special honeybee dance that tells the other bees just where the banquet can be found. <laughs> Isn't that so cute? And it's just like how we should be when the joy of Yahweh fills our hearts to overflowing, which most of the time, it's just totally blessed. You know, with the godly gifts of joy, you know, that could set us all a twitter and all excited. And even without any conscious effort, it just bubbles up out of us, and we just want to laugh and praise and sing and thank Abba Yahweh for everything, because it's just totally blessed. And the bees just can't wait to tell those around, or, they, or even us, we can't wait to tell those around us where we can find the banquet of Yah's goodness, too. And um, a mighty win is that banquet. So if you're not reading the prophecies, what are you waiting for? It's there. Take advantage of it while the internet's up. And I'll continue to pray that the internet stays up for another six months or a year. Uh, I don't know. They're talking about stuff next month. <laughs> so I pray that it doesn't get turned off in Yahshem Sheikh's name. Abi Yave, we just give it to you. Hallelujah. So, <laughs> bees, you know, if it wasn't for bees and they're pollinating, there wouldn't be much fruit. So, we gotta love the bees. And, uh,. Uh, but yeah, help us to be your fruit inspectors, as you said in, in your prophecies. And help us to bring forth more fruit. And thanks for continually pruning us and helping us and strengthening us. And um, the, the birds, too. The hummingbirds. There's other birds that pollinate. And that just helps to bring forth more good fruit, too. So, happy birthday, beloveds. We love you. Big hugs. Blessings. In Yahushua HaMashiach's name and love. Keep up the good work. Thanks for making the videos. Thanks for spreading the prophecies. Thank you so much for translating the prophecies. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Um, Sylvester. Bride of Yahushua. One, two, three. Um, <laughs> for the truth, 100. We praise Abba for you. We thank Abba for you so much for translating these prophecies into your your native languages. It's just so so awesome for Yahushua's glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank Abiyah for raising up more beloved translators in all languages around the world this day and night. Thanks for touching your beloved YDS bride and guests around the world. Thanks for anointing us to walk on our callings in you, for it's truly not by our own might nor our power, by your spirit that we can do anything. And we thank you that your anointing, your Holy Spirit, destroys the yokes and bondages which may hinder us from doing and having all that you have for us. <laughs> thank you, Father, for that. We just praise you and we thank you and we love you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We must continue to seek Yahushua with all our heart, mind, and soul. And I just love John 15. My favorite is John 15 and 17. In the chapters, You are my friends if you do what I command you, and I shall not call you servants any more, because a servant does not know his master's business. I call you friends because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my father. You did not choose me. No, I chose you, and I commissioned you to go out <laughs> and bear fruit, fruit that will last, and then the father will give you anything you ask him in my name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And of course, Yahushua, Yahushua said that, and this is so awesome. And um, I just love the song Circle of Friends. A dear friend sent me that song. And um, I thank Abiyah for her and for blessing her and bringing her to YT. And truly, no greater love than is this, that a man lays down his life for his friends. So I thank you, Father, for, for my friends, for my family, the YDS, the bride and guests around the world this day and night. Abiyah, Abi, thank you, Father, for your international bride is coming forth. <laughs> Your heavenly translators, Abba Yahweh, your beloveds around the world, thank you, thank you so much. I just read Prophecy 85, and this is so awesome and blessed for Yahushua's glory. And if you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. I was also just looking at Prophecy 39, Holy uh, Anointed Holy Eagles Come Forth. Um, praise Yah. If you haven't read that, I highly recommend it. So much, so much meat and strong meat in these prophecies and commands that Yah wants us to do to live for our own 
um, even future survival. I'm just looking at Prophecy 116, which I just love. <laughs> wow. I just, I'm going to read this one part in 116. Get ready to see the dominoes, dominoes fall. Remember Psalm 91? Though you see 1,000 fall at your side, and it will seem that they are all around you falling for it is I, Yahweh, that knocked them down. I'm shaking this world in my wrath, but those that are mine need not fear me, for you are in the palm of my hand, and my other hand covers you. You are as a baby chick, and I tell you this now, so your feathers do not get ruffled, for you're going to see what you'd rather not see and hear what you'd rather not hear. But let no fear overtake you. Remember where your faith is. Put your faith not in the economics, finances, and your job, or what businesses you own. Put your faith in only I, Abba Yahweh, and my only begotten son, Yahushua, your Mashiach, and the precious Ruach HaKadosh. <laughs> Keep your faith and your eyes on the promises that I have given you. Hallelujah. Be water walkers. <laughs> Peter would not have known that he could walk on the water if he had not stepped out of the boat and took that first step towards the Yahushua. But it was fear that caused him to start to drown when his eyes beheld the Yahushua once again. He could walk on the water again, and this is what I ask of you. Hallelujah. And it reminds me of the Daughters of Destiny, Prophecy 12. Abba Yahweh, thank you, Father, for blessing your Daughters of Destiny too and helping them to walk on the water with you and help us to keep our eyes on you all of us your sons and daughters too we just praise you and we thank you in advance for helping us Abba Yahweh anointing us in which to do so hallelujah 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 thank you father for helping us helping us to be your holy golden eagles help us Abba Yahweh we just praise you and we thank you in advance I, I was walking a couple about two weeks ago I believe it was two weeks this weekend I was walking, and I didn't get too far from my place, and a lady was standing on the lawn next door, and I don't know what she was looking at, her back was towards me, but she was still, and I was like, ooh, she sees something, so I was just walking cautiously, and suddenly another man stepped out of one, he opened the door, and this huge bird flew off, and it was an eagle, and it actually flew towards me, right in front of me. I've never been that close to a bald eagle in my life. In fact, I was I was shaking for 10 minutes because I'm I, I'm telling you it was like 40 or 50 feet away. I felt like I could touch it and it just zoomed right by me and swooped down and the head was huge. It was just totally majestic and awesome for Yahushua's glory. So help us to be your holy golden eagle, Abba Yahweh. To not fear anything, to know danger from afar, know exactly what to do and when to do it. We just praise you and we thank you, Father, for helping us and guiding us and strengthening us and help us to wait on you, Yahushua. You know, Isaiah 43, which I just love. Help us, Abba Yahweh, to rest in you and to rise up. Hallelujah. Thank you for your promises, which are yea and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In Yashem Sheik's name, have a blessed birthday week, beloveds of Yah. May Abba continue to bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you. In Yashim Sheikh's name and love, signing off for now, Abba's beloved. Let me tell you about the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees and the moon up above and a thing called love. Let me tell you about the stars in the sky Um, so what, 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 are, what are we going to do? Can you hear the songbird? I don't know what kind of bird that is, but it's, it's so cute. Aww, very good.